Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Friday night football about ready to get underway here at Oak Grove High School as the McClymans Warriors take on the Oak Grove Eagles. Here come the Eagles returning the football right to left on your screen, and right away we've got a breakaway. Just one man to beat for the Eagles, and this is Nick Bernardo tackled inside the 20-yard line. He had one man to beat as he was scooting along the hash marks. What a return close to 80 yards to start the football game. Yeah, thankfully for the kicker, he stood back, got in the way, allowed the others to slow up, uh, the, let, allowed the runners to slow up just enough where he could take him down, prevent a breakaway touchdown in the early going here, Sean. Boy, Nick Bernardo kicking things off right, getting the Oak Grove faithful into it early. Oak Grove will be starting things off here, ladies and gentlemen, wearing the yellow helmets, blue jerseys, going right to left on your screen. The McClymans Warriors out of Oakland, California, wearing the all-white uniforms with the black helmets and the orange lettering. Oak Grove from their own 17, I beg your pardon, the McClymans 17 yard line. This will be a handoff that goes right side. This is Cheeto Bayawuzi, still on his feet inside the 10, picks up close to eight yards on the ground. You see the elusiveness of a Woozy gone on the outside, got a nice seal block on the outside there by the tight end, uh, Sean, and spun his way to uh, some extra yards. If you're just tuning in, folks, we welcome you to Oak Grove High School in San Jose, California. It's the McClymans Warriors taking on the Oak Grove Eagles. Warriors 1-2 and two coming into this matchup. Oak Grove 2-0, and oh, knocking off powerhouses St. Francis and Los Gatos as they get ready for this matchup against the Warriors here tonight. Second down and three, fullback blast straight ahead for close to five yards. Now it will be first and goal for Oak Grove at the six. You're really seeing that push on that offensive line starting early tonight, Sean. That big offensive line, they've got some key returning seniors. And uh, this year, the Eagles, have, they lost a lot of players, but they've also reloaded very well up front. Dallas Missa Lafua, the quarterback for the Eagles, heading back into the huddles, getting the play call from head coach Jay Braun. They line up in a pro-style formation, two tight ends down on the line of scrimmage, two wide receivers, one back to the left hip pocket of Missa Lafua. Man in motion, this will be the wide receiver taking the handoff up the middle into the end zone for a touchdown, Cheeto Bay Awuzi. Yeah, that time Awuzi lined up in the slot, sort of in the wide receiver position, and just ran down the line. Perfect timing, nice blocking over the left side uh, for Awuzi, and he was barely touched going five yards for the score. Cheeto Bay Awuzi with a six yard Rushing touchdown for the Oak Grove Eagles. Took just three plays for 17 yards as they strike with the first touchdown in this ball game. PAT up and good. So Oak Grove takes an early 7-0 lead. We're in the first quarter, 10 minutes, 49 seconds to remain in this first quarter. It's the Warriors nothing and the Eagles 7 here on PlayOnSports.com. So do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Nick Bernardo kicked things off for the Oak Grove Eagles with an Close to 80-yard kickoff return to start the football game. Gave Oak Grove excellent field position as they started on the McClyman 17-yard line. It took them just three plays for 17 yards, and it was a six-yard rushing touchdown by Awuzi. Oak Grove leads this ball game 7-0, and on the ensuing kickoff, that ball goes out of bounds. So at least for McClymans, they're going to have great field position to start this ball game. Yes, they'll need uh, some good field position. Kind of counter that early momentum here started by the Oak Grove Eagles and uh, look for them to, to mix the ball up, run their pro-style offense, and roll their quarterback out to get some action on the outside, try to avoid that pass rush and those sacks, Sean. Quarterback behind the helm is Keith Williams, the senior. He'll be lining up in that pro-style set. He'll have two backs behind him in the white uniforms. Black helmets are the McClymans Warriors, moving left to right. Defensive look for Oak Grove is a 3-4. Linebackers stunted over towards the left side. First and 10 on their own 35-yard line for the Warriors. Man in motion from far to near side. 
Handoff goes to the left for a very short gain. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Earlier on the pregame show, Fred, we discussed that I, I, I think it's safe to say that the cards are in favor for Oak Grove in this particular matchup. So if you're McClymans, to keep this game close, their offensive style is a pro style similar to what Oak Grove runs, but how are they going to try to spread out this defense? Because this defense shut down two of the best schools in the CCS in Los Gatos and St. Francis. Yeah, they've got to try some bubble screen, spread that defense out, use their speed on offense to stretch that defense uh, rather than up the middle. Williams directly under center, second down and 10, play action. Rolls out near side, plenty of time, fires, almost intercepted. Nico Randolph is kicking himself. He had that in both hands. He had the old bear claws around it, but couldn't bring it in. It's going to bring up third down and 10. Well, that was one of those rollouts I was talking about earlier, Sean. They're going to try to do that to use their speed on offense, avoid that pass rush. Uh, the quarterback is much better when he's rolling out from the pocket. And I think we can see Williams to try to do that more often tonight here to make get things going. Williams was looking for a senior. He had Sterling Lowe, the wide receiver that was lined up on the bottom of your screen. He was running a deep fade route as he was walking back into the huddle. He was the closest man that was in the vicinity. But as mentioned, Randolph nearly had that pick. It's going to bring up third down and 10. Left hash mark. Warriors with the ball on the left hash mark. Bobble snap. Williams able to feed that ball over towards the far side. Pass is caught and complete by McGee Jackson, but it's well short of a first down. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunately the, the fumbled snap. The short snap slowed the play of the progress of the play. He did get a nice uh, little screen pass out to the receiver and uh, a great block by number 71, Kevin Vaughn, on the offensive line. Almost sprung him uh, for the first down, but he ended up two yards short. It'll bring up fourth down and two, punt formation on the field. Nine minutes and 28 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Oak Grove leads McClyman 7 0. Punt is away. Here's the return man. This is Awuzi, who scored for Oak Grove on the previous offensive series. Has some nice blockers and nearly, nearly hurdles a player, but has finally tackled at the 32. A yeah, nice tackle there. You could see Awuzi using his speed to get to the corner and get to the edge. And the defender that time managed to uh, cut him under, or undercut him rather, uh, to prevent any type of long game. First and 10 for Oak Grove. They lead this football game 7 0, wearing the yellow helmets, yellow pants, blue jerseys, going right to left. Missa Lafua, the quarterback for the Eagles, checking things down on the left side of the offensive line, now the right. Goes directly under center, first and 10 for the Eagles on their own 32 in between the hashes. Handoff goes left side, tackled at the 37-yard line. Getting the carry right there was Daniel Lozano. Yeah, Lozano there with a nice gain over the left side. You've really seen that running game work to the left side tonight so far for Oak Grove. Uh, McClyman's needs to begin to try to do some slants and some stunts on that side here to counter. Uh, that push the offensive line's getting. Lozano, we saw down on the field during our uh, pregame interviews with both teams' coaching staff. He lines up in that wing formation, usually as a wide receiver. Right now they have him in the backfield, but they're not afraid to motion him during the football game. You expect to see him, folks, move around quite a bit from north to south in that offensive formation. Second down and four. This is a woozy in motion. Handoff to Lozano, nowhere to go. Defensive line sniffs that play out. Coming up and making the tackle was Yusef Sterling Lowe, penetrating the line of scrimmage and getting the tackle in the backfield that will bring up third down for Oak Grove. Yeah, so that's what McClymans is going to have to do here tonight, Sean. they got it countering a heavy running game. The front seven is going to need help from the DBs and the safeties, and they got what they needed that time and forced third and five here for Oak Grove. Sterling Lowe. Defensive back lined up along the right side of that defense, just outside the tight end for Oak Grove, which is Noah Williams. Timeout on the field. That is called by Oak Grove. Their first timeout of the first half. They have two remaining. Third down and five with 7.51 to go here in the first quarter. Oak Grove seven, McClyman's nothing. You're tuning in to PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. 
keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. 7.51 left to play here in the first quarter. Oak Grove with an early 7-0 advantage on top of McClymans. McClymans making their way out of Oakland, California. Took that trek down the 880 about an hour, maybe two in traffic, depending on when they left. But they're here in San Jose, California, taking on the Oak Grove Eagles. 2-0 for Oak Grove, 1-2 on the season for McClymans. Eagles with the football now. It will be third down and five. They are on the left hash mark, moving right to left on their own 37. Handoff, a woozy at the 40. Breaks it! The tackler and nearly does a Superman at the 45. Making the tackle at the last second was Kenyatta McGee Jackson. Yeah, and that time uh, Nick Bernardo had a nice kick out block on the defender that really could have tackled a woozy in the background that time, but he got a lot further. He could have prevented the, the first down, fourth, for, uh, forced him into a fourth down punting situation, but a great back by uh, the running back always helps spring another running back, Sean. 4-3 look for McClymans. They bring those linebackers up, Fred. Occasionally they'll have one stunted just over the nose tackle, but right now when you look down at that defensive line, you're seeing that inside backer just between the two defensive tackles, and they look like, they look like they're about to bring two outside backers as far as the pressure as that ball carrier takes it for a gain close to five, and the reason why I bring that up is because the previous play, they actually stunted a little bit too early Early, and that's how Awuzie was able to cut back inside and then make his way back to the outside. So if you're McClymans, you've got to be careful to keep keying on that ball carrier if you're going to uh, send both outside backers. Yeah, they have to learn to stay home and time the play, not anticipate. Uh, that was a, a wider run uh, that uh, the defense can easily miss time, as you said, with a stunt. Mark Esquivel, the wide receiver at the bottom of your screen, second down and six. Awuzie in motion, fake hand off to him. This is... Lozano going toward the right side of the offensive line. Daniel Lozano getting some carries early on in this ball game. Picks it up for a gain, maybe three on the ground. It's going to bring up third down and four for Oak Grove. So the Eagles just are very content here to keep it on the ground. They've, for the most part, in their ground game, been able to get four or five yards of carry. Uh, now they've been stalled here to third and four, Sean. Uh, just wondered here if... Uh, Coach Braun here, we're going to see our first pass of the night uh, for the Eagles. Trips formation for the Eagles over towards the right side. A woozy lined up one-on-one -on -one coverage towards the bottom of your screen. It will be a handoff going straight ahead. Ball carrier dragging Warrior defenders down inside the 40-yard line. That was Nick Bernardo getting the carry right there for Oak Grove. And when I say drag defenders, Fred, he had at least two, maybe three slip tackles right there as he was dragging players down inside the 40. Yes, he had uh, the middle linebacker, outside linebacker there from McClymans, took him for about three or four yards. And there's an excellent example of uh, the agility of Oak Grove. Split some men wide, left, right, still managed to run up the middle by spreading the defense out. Bernardo lined up as the fullback. Awuzie, the tailback. Bunch formation for Oak Grove, first and 10 on the Warrior 38-yard line. Pitch goes towards the far side for a gain of seven. Oak Grove leads this football game 7-0, moving right to left. It'll be second down and about four yards here for the Eagles. Talk about their schedule here for Oak Grove, and I've got to bring it up because they knocked off two Bay Area powerhouses in Los Gatos and St. Francis. They defeated St. Francis by a score of one point 21 20 and they knock off Los Gatos by a field goal 24 21 this is a team that has been in some close close battles yeah it sure has uh, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute after this play second down and four Missa Lafua directly under center handoff Bernard gets slapped around but he gains about three yards on the handoff lined up as a fullback it's going to bring up third down and two yeah that first victory uh by the Eagles when they uh, they got stung last year by getting knocked off by St. Francis in the CCS playoffs. So that initial win this year was great momentum for them going into the season. And with another powerhouse like Los Gatos the next week, uh, this is a any place, anytime, anywhere type team uh, uh, type schedule. Definitely not afraid to take on whoever, whenever. The Oak Grove Eagles, third down and two. McClyman's showing pressure. They blitz the outside backer on the far side. This is a handoff that goes left side. Ball carrier tackled at the 25-yard line. They needed two. They pick up close to six yards on the ground. Getting the carry right there was Quintanilla. Yeah, Quintanilla really benefited there by a uh, downfield block by the, the uh, left tackle. They're doing a lot of work here tonight. 
Valadolid, Nico Valadolid, who runs 5'10", 285, had his man well into the back hole, uh, backfield uh, springing uh, the running back for a nice game. Three minutes, 52 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Oak Grove, seven, McClymans, nothing. Oak Grove with the football, fresh set of downs here. Following Quentin Ilya's gain of six on the ground. Eagles with the football in the Warrior 23. Left hash mark going right to left. Fullback straight ahead once again. And right now is that offensive line doing the dirty work. That one's going to go for a gain of five. Anytime on a fullback dive, you can get five yards. Uh, you know you've got some offensive momentum on the ground, Something, Sean. And, something's uh, working. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, the uh, McClyman's Warriors uh, need to be able to prepare to cheat a little bit up. They've got to take some more risks, uh, maybe more stunning up on that offensive line. Their, their players are smaller, but they are quicker. They could out finesse that offensive line with the proper stunts. Owoozy, the motion man. Lozano gets the carry, goes straight ahead, slips two tackles, now dragging a defender close to the 10-yard line. Inside the 10, Daniel Lozano. A tremendous run. It's going to bring up first and goal for Oak Grove. And that's one of the ways you prevent the stunts from happening is a lot of offensive motion in the backfield. And men in motion going down line uh, forces that defense to stay home and not overreact. And that time they had to play it straight ahead just like the last play, and they got another five yards out of it. Two minutes, 43 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Oak Grove threatening here. It's now first and goal. Red zone opportunity for the Eagles offense. Second offensive series of the ball game. First and goal from the Warrior nine-yard line in between the hashes. Fake handoff to Awuzi. Daniel Lozano once again taking the call. He'll pick up maybe one on the ground. Second down and goal upcoming. A couple substitutions here for the Oak Grove Eagles. Williams checks in and Lozano will head back towards the sideline. Yeah, nice tackle from the outside by the linebacker uh, who swept in, smelled that play out, and preventing uh, the running back from, from hitting the gap in the line, Sean. Second and goal. Nisa Lafua barking out the calls. He'll drop back to pass this one. Fires towards the back corner, caught! Touchdown! Yeah, Will Asai had a nice catch on the end zone. You could see uh, the quarterback just threw it up where only Asai could catch that, and he extended his six three, six foot three inch frame well over that defensive back, Sean, uh, to caught it just past, uh, just in front of the end line for six. Will Osai in the back of the end zone. He jumped up like he was about to dunk it. Caught that ball, fell down to planet Earth. PAT try is no good. But Oak Grove with a very strong, impressive offensive drive. They lead this football game by a score of 13 to nothing. We're in the third, the first quarter, I beg your pardon. 149 left to play in the first. Eagles 13, Warriors nothing, right here on playonsports.com. So do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? We'll tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 12 plays, 72 yards capped off with a eight-yard touchdown reception to Will Osi thrown from Missa Lafua, the quarterback. Oak Grove with a 13-0 advantage as they kick the ball off on the ensuing kickoff. Ball carrier out to the 32-yard line for McClymans. Impressive drive right there, Fred. 12 plays, 72 yards, chewed up a lot of clock. Didn't pass the ball until that last that last play of that offensive series in the back corner of the end zone. How about that grab by Osi? Yeah, Osi had a nice grab reaching out over the defender. Uh, we could see these Eagles here in practice tonight. Uh, they actually practice those real high, those high passes from the quarterback where only they can get them and, they, and the defender doesn't have a chance and we really saw it pay off on that touchdown. Will Osi with a beautiful grab in the back of the end zone. 
gives Oak Grove a 13 to nothing advantage. McClyman's with the football, white uniforms, black helmets, orange lettering going left to right. They have the ball on their own 31, ball carrier far sideline, takes the handoff for a gain of maybe two yards on the ground, but going back to that Oak Grove drive, I think what made it so impressive, Fred, is the fact they chewed up all that clock. They kept that ball on the ground. They went 12 plays and really stymied that Warriors defense. And that'll be their strategy tonight to kind of wear them down, uh, take them out of the game early. Uh, but we see now uh, with a few yards on the ground by uh, Jackson here for McClymans, they want to scatter that run game throughout uh, as well to try to keep the Eagles off balance uh, on defense. Second down and eight. This is Keith Williams, the QB. Fires towards the middle of the field, hits his target, who's upended around the 40-yard line. Coming up with the reception was Emil Hope the third. He gets enough for a first down. Yeah, that time he really saw a quick snap, quick pass over the middle to avoid that oncoming rush. A second longer, and he would have been sacked, uh, forcing a real third and long situation. But that's what they're going to try to do tonight, pass some underneath the coverage, gain some yards through the air, uh, and again, use their speed on offense uh, as a weapon. 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. First and 10, McClymans with the football on their own 45-yard uh, line. This is a handoff, delayed handoff. It goes straight up the middle for a gain close to five yards on the ground. Jackson with the carry. Yeah, you can see just how uh, success over the middle with that uh, short pass sort of opened things up. And uh, McClyman's there chose just to do a quick delay, fake, uh, froze those linebackers for a minute and uh, gave them a nice five-yard gain here on first down. That'll do it for the first quarter as the clock strikes zero. Second quarter coming up here on PlayOnSports.com. It's the home team, Oak Grove Eagles 13, McClyman's Warriors nothing. You're tuning in to PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Fred Landis to my left. I'm Sean Hennessy bringing you the live play-by-play -play action here at Oak Grove High School in San Jose, California. Beautiful Friday night football action taking place right before our eyes. And right now it's the heavy favored Oak Grove Eagles with a early 13-0 advantage over the McClyman's Warriors. Back in the first quarter it was uh, a woozy with a six yard rushing touchdown. PAT good that gave Oak Grove a seven nothing lead. Then in the previous offensive series for the Eagles, it was Will Osi with an incredible eight yard receiving touchdown in the back corner of the end zone that gives Oak Grove a 13 nothing advantage. PAT was no good. McClyman's with the football going right to left. They switch sides. It's gonna bring up second down and five as we start the second quarter. Williams pitches the ball towards the far side of the field. Taking the handoff is McGee Jackson. McGee Jackson stood up around the 45, still on his feet, down out of bounds, close to the 40 four yard line a beautiful carry right there from McGee Jackson following his blockers on the pitch it sure was uh, that time you saw that was all Jackson breaking a tackle uh, almost at the line of scrimmage extending the defense out getting that first down and here we're beginning to see some offense here as we see uh, McClyman's mixing the run and the pass using that speed to spread that uh, Oak Grove defense from side to side and that's what they're going to have to do tonight Sean to succeed and get some scoring. Williams in the shotgun formation now. Running back to his right hip pocket, trips formation to his left, solo wide receiver on the top of your screen. First and 10, Williams throws near side, pass is caught. Wide receiver at the 35, spins, still alive, and finally goes down around the 33 yard line. Coming up with the grab was Jalen Thompson. Thompson catching that ball. An elusive player as Thompson had a spin move right there. Picks up about nine yards on the reception. Yeah, that was certainly all Thompson. Yards after the catch. Big on a bubble screen type play like that. Again, you saw that pass rush right in the quarterback's face. The timing was perfect to get it out to, to Thompson. Second down and one for the Warriors. 
Sixth play of this offensive series. Trips formation towards the bottom of your screen. Handoff. McGee tripped up at the 30. He was tripped up there in the backfield, and it looked like the first man to make the tackle was Jean Jade Von Passel with the tackle. Yeah, that time a simple draw play. When you've got second and short, you have lots of opportunities to go up top and take a risk. That time they relied on timing and the delay of the draw play to get the first down. First down, McClymans as they continue to move the chains. Here in the second quarter, they trail 13-0. 10 minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the second. Ball in between the Oak Grove hashes at the 30-yard line for the Warriors. Williams steps up and slings it. Pass is caught at the 20. How about that right there by Keith Williams really stepping up and putting some fire on that ball. Jalen Thompson with his second reception in the ball game. Yeah, uh, Williams stepped right into the pocket very nicely like a senior you would hope and expect a senior to do to avoid the pass rush, uh, hit the, rec the receiver uh, for the first down uh, in a nice timed, uh, just a simple in route. Ball on the 20 yard line for the Warriors as they cross over into Oak Grove territory. Eighth play of this offensive drive, first and 10. Ball in between the hashes. Jackson flung down, nowhere to go. Making a great tackle right there was Nick Bernardo, the captain, linebacker stepping up, making a nice play. Yeah, and Bernardo uh, really uh, now this year playing safety. That time he cheated up, took a real, uh, they took a page out of McClyman's uh, book by stacking the edge and preventing uh, the uh, running back from getting to the line of scrimmage and preventing, you know, holding him to no gain. Second down and nine. Warriors offense going right to left, wearing the all-white uniforms with the orange lettering, black helmets. Nine minutes and 26 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Oak Grove with a 13-0 lead. Play action, Williams. Pass incomplete. He threw it behind his intended wide receiver. Brings up third down. Yeah, he had the receiver there, and you saw the agility of Williams rolling out of the pocket. Uh, that's when he is at its best. Don't, man, with a, with a nice pass, it would have been a nice gain, but he just missed him a little bit behind. And maybe don't be too surprised to see uh, uh, Williams uh, on those rollouts uh, try to take it for himself as he gets more respect from the defense for his ability to pass. Flag on the play. It was a holding call committed against the Warriors' offensive line. Huge penalty right there for McClymans. Really pushes him back. You figure they were in field goal range at the 20. Now they're going to have the ball in the Oak Grove 33. Shotgun formation. Keith Williams barking out signals to his right, then to his left. Steps up. Throws towards the far side of the field. Pass is caught. And coming up and making the tackle was Awuzie. Another reception right there for Jalen Thompson. Three catches here on this offensive drive. Yeah, Thompson, uh, that was pass just allow him to throw under the coverage. It's still third and long, uh, Sean. Uh, but that's the type of play they're going to have to get with, uh, with a shorter yardage on the first down here to, to keep their offensive momentum going. Keep your eye on Cheeto Bay Awuzi, the cornerback on the top side of that screen. He's covering Jalen Thompson. Three catches on this drive. Setting up the screen. Keith under pressure. Williams still alive as he's finally tackled. As Bernardo brings him down at the 26-yard line, Williams was looking for anything he could find right there as he was scanning the field. It appeared that he was setting up for the screen, but he's able to get a couple on the ground. It's still going to bring up third and long. Yeah, it looked, uh, looked like the screen was certainly the secondary outlet, if not the primary. Uh, downfield was well covered. As you mentioned, Awuze was uh, marking Thompson rather well. That brings up uh, fourth and long. Fourth and 16. Williams in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to each side. Plenty of time. Fires for a deep fade route in the far corner. And that pass is caught. Touchdown. Making it look easy. What a grab in the end zone right there for LaVon Washington, the senior wide receiver, tiptoeing in the back of the end zone. What a grab. It was a beautiful grab by Washington, the senior. And let's credit Keith Williams for putting that only where Washington could catch that ball 
in stride, dragging a foot, tiptoeing to keep at least one foot in bounds for a big momentum shifter here for McClymonds in the second quarter. LaVon Washington, an NFL-like grab in the back of the end zone. I almost wonder if he had both feet in bound right there. Uh, in the high school level, you only need one. But the, he tippy-toed that thing in the back of the end zone. It was a tremendous reception. Yeah, it sure was. And uh, I don't think uh, the uh, the defense got him on man-to-man -man, uh, coverage. We didn't see McClyman's really go downfield much at all with a pass yet, up over top, that is. But they're going to have to do that tonight. They're going to have to make big plays, Sean, to keep in this game because we know that rush, uh, that, that rush, rushing game of Oak Grove will, keep, uh, will be very strong. Penalty on the offensive line pushes the PAT try back five yards. The holder, Emil Hope the third, unable to bring that ball in. So the PAT try is no good. That puts the score at 13 to six in favor of Oak Grove. We're in the second quarter, seven minutes and 44 seconds left to play in the first half. You're listening in to playonsports.com, your destination for high school sports. So do you wanna watch more of your school's great matchups like the game we're seeing here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 12 plays, 71 yards for the McClymonds Warriors on that offensive series, an impressive offensive series against that stout Oak Grove defense. They go 12 plays, 71 yards, and it's a 26-yard touchdown pass from Keith Williams to his buddy, LaVon Washington, as the ensuing kickoff is taken around the 26-yard line. Yeah, that was like a little, uh, just a little pooch uh, kickoff. He's not wanting to kick it deep. Uh, where we saw Woozy almost take it to the house in the beginning of the game, Sean. Uh, they'd rather have one of the up men take it, hold them back uh, behind the 30-yard line. And actually, if the, uh, the ball may have gone out of bounds if the Oak Grove uh, uh, player had not touched it. But he didn't want to take that chance, uh, lest uh, risk an onside kick uh, recover. And if it did go out of bounds... Uh the Eagles would have the ball on the 35-yard line as opposed to the 25-yard line where they currently have it right now. Eagles with the football. Missa Lafua directly under center, hands it off to a woozy. A woozy smacked and driven backwards. He had nowhere to go, and the first man coming up and making that tackle. What a, what a play right there, what a hit. Antonio Cummings. The linebacker, the senior, number 34, stepping up right there and hitting a woozy. And a woozy's no small target either. He stands at six feet 180. Yeah, we're really seeing uh, that defense now from McClyman's being fired up by getting some points on the board. You can really see now how an offense can fire up its defense to get the back out there and get after him. Second down and 10 for Oak Grove. They're moving left to right, wearing the blue jerseys, yellow pants, yellow helmets. They have the ball on their own 25. Pass play over towards the far side. That one is caught for maybe six yards through the air. It's going to bring up third and four. You really see the agility there of, of the quarterback uh, being able to roll to his left and throw to his right, Sean. It's no easy task. Uh, Oak Grove now beginning maybe to mix a few things up as McClymonds has made some adjustments uh, up front that they really would have to do to, to begin to slow that running game down. Will Osai with the reception. On the previous play, Osai with a touchdown reception also in this ball game. Ball carrier goes right side. Nowhere to go. And how about McClymonds? Defensive backs, outside linebackers, stepping up and making some key plays right there. Quincy Wesley. Yeah, Wesley just shot through the line, smelled the play to the right, and beat the lineman uh, to tackle him on the backfield and forth, uh, force the uh, first punt tonight by Oak Grove. Michael Montez, the punter for Oak Grove, lines up at his own 20-yard line. Back deep to return the ball is Sterling Lowe, the wide receiver slash punt returner for the Warriors. He is a senior at his own 27. Montez takes the snap. Boots it away, wobbly punt, bouncing at the 40. And Oak Grove will 
allow this to take an Eagles bounce down to the 29-yard line of McClymonds. Yeah, that being the first, uh, the first punt of the night, you really saw some solid tackling, meeting him at the line of scrimmage. And you've got to believe, Sean, here that with uh, McClymonds with 28 players, uh, most of them going both ways uh, tonight, they're, they were energized by their offense. When an offense can go 12 plays like they did on that previous series against that stout Oak Grove defense for 71 yards, and you've got a wide receiver like LaVon Washington making that NFL-like grab, I'm right there with you. It fires up your team. And for a lot of these guys, I think one of the things to key in on, as you said, a lot of these guys going both ways, we'll see if a fatigue uh, factor comes yep. into play. First and 10, McClyman's going right to left now. They have the ball on their own 28-yard line. Williams with the handoff over towards the right side, gives it to his tailback. It appears to be McGee, and he's hitting the backfield. Yeah, Jackson that time, uh, McGee Jackson, uh, really had nowhere to, to go. The, uh, the uh, Eagles were stacking the line, waiting for that run, uh, as, they, as they were earlier in the game, forcing uh, second and 12 here. And in order for McClyman to stay in this game, get some more points, uh, they were creative on offense. Uh, last series of downs, let's see if they can do it again this time. Second down and 12 for the Warriors. Four minutes, 45 seconds left in the second quarter. It's a 13-7 ball game in favor of Oak Grove. Williams sees his target, but throws to the left side of his intended receiver. That could have been a, a nice gain through the air for Jalen Thompson. He has three catches in the ball game, can't grab that one, so it's going to bring up third down and 12. Yeah, it was just an in route. He certainly was right in front of the defender. Uh, passed just a little bit low by Williams, but, but we can see he could be really on target here tonight. And with third and long, uh, he's going to need another one of these here to keep this drive going. Eagles defense lines up with three defensive linemen, four outside backers or four linebackers, I should say. Third and 12, Williams glances to his left, slings it, almost intercepted. It goes through the hands of Cheeto Bea Woozy. He jumped up and tried to snag it around his face mask, but it goes through his hands. Incomplete, it's going to bring up fourth down, and on comes the punt team. It looks like that time the intended receiver uh, was uh, McGee Jackson, uh, and he certainly was well covered by Wuze, and uh, I think that time Williams just threw that high, saw the oncoming rush, and made sure to throw it where maybe no one could get it, and not even a Wuze, although he did get a hand on it. Cheeto Bayawuzi back at his own 40-yard line. Punter tries to get the ball away, but he had his own teammate right in front of him. A difficult play right there. The man in front was LaVon Washington. Washington was directly in front of his punter, so his punter could not punt the football down the field. And it looked like that was McGee Jackson, the punter, who was trying to get that ball off, but he had his man right in front of him, and at the last second, he's able to drop the football and punt it for maybe 20 yards. Yeah, that was a real heads-up play by the punter. Uh, Washington there was adjusting to uh, the uh, the oncoming rush by Oak Grove, who would, could easily have blocked that punt had it not been for that adjustment by the punter, and uh, Washington was uh, was adjusting to uh, to block that man coming in. Missa Lafua, the quarterback for Oak Grove, under center now. Eagles going left to right. This is Missa Lafua faking the handoff, taking it himself, but he's tackled by at least three defenders. First man to meet him was Dijon Ford, the defensive lineman, senior for McClyman's. Gain of maybe two. Yeah, quarterback draw that time uh, just to keep the pursuit off balance, but uh, McClyman's was not fooled whatsoever as they uh, ran into large number 72. Uh, DeJon, DeJon Ford. Ford, who was not going to relinquish any position on that field, Sean. No height or weight listed for Ford, but I'd say it's safe to say he's well over 250 down there on that defensive line, a big boy playing nose tackle. No gain on the previous carry. I mentioned, too, Missa Lafua was tied up at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down and 10 for the Eagles. Moving left to right now. They have it on the Warrior 45. 
Missa Lafua tries to take it once again, but making a great tackle was Yusef Sterling Lowe, playing the contain on the outside edge, stopping the quarterback for no gain. Once again, it's going to bring up third and long. Yeah, that really looked like a, a broken play, as I believe he tried to make the handoff to, uh, to Lozano or Bernardo, and uh, he just missed him. So uh, he did a heads-up senior move, and Missa Le Lavua just got himself a couple of yards uh, and was really lucky, actually, not to lose any. Those outside backers, I brought them up in the first quarter, saying that they had to make sure they, they watched themselves as far as the contain goes because it looks like they're blitzing both outside guys every time. And right there, it was a great defensive play by Sterling Lowe staying at home. It's third down and nine for Oak Grove. Motion man goes right to left. Missa Lafua fires near side, has a woozy intercepted. Two defenders around a woozy, jumping up and intercepting the pass was Hope the third. What a defensive play right there, and McClyman's offense will head back out onto the field with 2.32 left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, probably a, a, an ill-advised throw in the double coverage there, as we saw, Sean. Uh, and it was underthrown, and not even a woozy could come up with that catch. Uh, the uh, McClyman's defenders that time, Coach McCauley, knew that they could go easily go deep to their star player and uh, had him double up on them. And sure enough, we're there and caught the interception on the underthrown pass. Double coverage right there. Dangerous th uh, throw by Missa Lafua. He just let it fling down the near sideline, and that one was picked off by Emil Hope the third. This is McGee Jackson close to the 25-yard line. Kenyatta McGee Jackson with a nice gain on the ground, close to nine yards. Don't count out McClymans. I tell you what, they're impressing me right now, Fred. This team out of Oakland, California, only 28 men listed on their roster, and right now they're playing like a squad that says, you know what, the heck with Oak Grove being the favorites, the big powerhouse, we're going to come in here and give it our all. And right now they've got the ball, and they only trail 13-6. to six. Yeah, Jackson ran that ball just about like you personified him, Sean, uh, with abandon and getting them in second and short right now. Let's be interesting to see what the call is here. Will Coach McCauley try to go up above uh, or just get the first down. 145 left to play in the second. Clock continues to roll. Williams throws far sideline, has a wide out to his knees, caught at the 30 or at the 29 yard line, I should say. Coming up with the grab was Keith Williams. So a different quarterback right there. Williams switched roles, played the wide receiver position, and catches it for a first down. You're seeing the versatility of uh, Williams, uh, obviously with great hands as quarterback, uh, perhaps caught the defense a little bit off guard. Nice, easy sideline pattern uh, for the first down. Williams line up as a wide receiver once again towards the bottom of your screen. Shotgun formation. Trips uh, wide outs to the right side this time. That ball thrown to the tailback's legs. McGee Jackson, the intended target. And it looks like, I beg your pardon, Keith Williams was actually lined up as the quarterback. The man towards the bottom of your screen was LaVon Washington. Washington wears five, Williams wears two. So two was behind the center that time in the shotgun. Smart play by Williams, though. He saw the defensive lineman coming in and just threw that ball at his wideouts. Yeah, he just avoided the rush there without getting an intentional grounding call and said, let's regroup. It's only second and ten. We just got a first down. We ran the ball. We threw the ball. We can, uh, we can move the ball on these guys. Three wide receivers to the left side of the offensive formation. Second down and 10 for McClymans. One minute and 15 seconds left on the clock here in the second. Williams completes the pass to his inside wide receiver. That's Emil Hope, the third. Another reception. He'll take it for maybe six yards. It's going to bring up third down and four. The clock is McClymans' enemy at this moment as there's 59 seconds left to play. They do have all three timeouts remaining here in the first quarter. And looks like they took one of them right here, Sean. Uh, nice uh, over-the-middle pass. Second time we, we've seen that play tonight. Uh, he's uh, Hope and Williams have their timing down over the middle. It can be a very dangerous play, dangerous for that receiver who could get popped quite easily, uh, and also for interceptions. But we see a uh, really a, a good, smart quarterback like Williams is avoiding this pass rush nicely here tonight. He has great timing, knows when to get rid of that ball with a quick release and an easy completion. But obviously Oak Grove's going to get him a lot of things underneath with 55 seconds left. 
uh, and just trying to keep him out of the end zone. If you're just tuning in and wondering how McClyman's has the football where they do, it was Emil Hope the third picking off Dallas Missa Lafua, the quarterback of Oak Grove, the senior quarterback. He threw it down the near sideline into double coverage, and Hope the third just played that ball perfectly, jumped up and caught it, and now the Warriors have it with a third down and four to go. 55 ticks remaining in the second. Williams from the gun, fires far side, incomplete. He was looking for Hope the third around the 47. He tried to bring that ball in and tippy toe the far sideline. He cannot bring it down. On comes the punt team, it's fourth down. Yeah, it was just over his outstretched arms, Sean. Nice pass by Williams. He got a little happy feet, maybe took him off balance just a bit. Ball sailed up on him a little further, a little higher than he would have liked it to, uh, to have gone. And with 50 seconds left, uh, we'll see if they can't now punt the ball away from a woozy. They don't, what they don't want is a special, te special teams return here this close to the end of the half. Oak Grove with two timeouts left here in the first half. As that punt is blocked, Owoozie blocks the punt and then picks it up. So count that as a punt block and a fumble recovery, if you will, right there for Owoozie. Since he was down, it will be a dead ball. Oak Grove will have it on the Warrior 24-yard line. Yeah, that time Brandon Quintana was back uh, for the punt reception. Owoozie... Uh, as a the wise, smart safety that he is, shot the gap, blocked the punt, almost took it to the house, uh, but dead ball at the time of the block as the ball uh, hit the ground and he was touched. Uh, but most importantly, it puts Oak Grove in scoring position. Randolph and Montez, the two wide receivers, now joined to them is Quintanilla. Trips formation to the right side. This is Cruz. Firing at the 10-yard line. That one caught by Randolph. Inbounds. And that's Ray Cruz. I mentioned Ray Cruz because Missa Lafua, who is the normal starting quarterback, was not in on that play, but Cruz completes it. Yeah, Cruz had a nice rollout pass. Got a great inside block from uh, his big tackle, uh, number 71, also the long snapper, and uh, really puts him here in, in Short order scoring position at the 10-yard uh, line of McClyman's. Pro-style formation. Cruz fires towards the far corner. Jump ball caught. Touchdown. Will Osi with his second receiving touchdown in the ball game. Yeah, Osi, a very similar play to the last one. Threw that one up, extended his six foot three inch frame, Sean, and was well thrown ball and this is exactly what the Warriors didn't want to happen with 50 seconds left in the half is avoiding that uh, score before the half and unfortunately for them uh, Oak Grove got on the board but that's the strength of Oak Grove as the uh, point uh, after try is good. Ray Cruz to Will Osi, an 11 yard Touchdown reception gives Oak Grove a 20 to six lead with 15 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. You're watching playonsports.com, your destination for high school sports. Do you wanna watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? will tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their home games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Onside kick try. I beg your pardon, or I should say a deep kick here. McClyman's able to return it. One man to beat, and he does. The Warriors with LaVon Washington at the 10, the five, touchdown. As the clock strikes zero to end the first half, McClymans with a beautiful return. Boy, just when you thought it might get away at halftime here on the uh, McClyman Warriors, they took that, what was a short kick, an up kick uh, by the receiver, and he took it to the house. I think sometimes the, uh, the Oak Grove Eagles thinking a quick tackle here will end the half wasn't to be uh, as the receiver took it to the house and didn't give up on the play. 
LaVon Washington and I make one of those calls where you look down for a moment to tally up your stats or perhaps track a play and I look up and all of a sudden LaVon Washington has the football. It looked like it was almost an onside kick but then he took it at I guess you could say midfield where the kick return team would take it and next thing you know he's gone. Whistles blow down on the field, timeout called and that is an Oak Grove Eagle timeout. They now have one timeout left, but remember the clock is at zero right here, so it's a it's almost as if it's a PAT try, but instead McClymans will line up and go for two. It, it's almost as if it's an untimed down because the clock has struck zero here. The score is 20 to 12, so McClymans trying to get that 12 into a 14 and make this a one touchdown ball game. Yeah, a huge play here on that uh Kickoff return for touchdown by Washington, and you you can see really the speed of this uh, undermanned uh, McClyman's team here tonight with only 28 players, many of them playing both sides. Uh, their speed has made a difference in a few of these plays as the defender, uh, uh, the receiver got past the defender for the touchdown earlier, and here uh, on the special teams kickoff return touchdown by Washington. And if Oak Grove's really got to make some adjustments uh, at halftime to watch those speed players uh, in open field for McClymans. We'll see Washington, what happens. Washington uh, with a receiving touchdown in this ball game, and he also has a kick return for a touchdown. Man in motion from right to left. Williams, jump throw incomplete. Two-point conversion, Two conversion, no good in the far corner. McGee Jackson, the intended target, and that brings this first half to a close. But what a way for the McClyman's Warriors to let Oak Grove know, hey, look, we're not done yet. LaVon Washington takes it all the way to the house, and that puts the score at 20 to 12. Folks, that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles with a 20 to 12 advantage over the Warriors. When we come back, Fred and myself will gather up some statistics for you, and we'll come back with our PlayOnSports.com halftime show. In the meantime, we've reached half here at Oak Grove High School. It's Oak Grove 20, McClyman's 12. We'll be right back with the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Don't go anywhere.
We've reached halftime here, folks, at Oak Grove High School. The McClymans Warriors hanging in there. The Eagles with a slim 20 to 12 advantage here at the half. You're tuning in to the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. I'm Sean Hennessy. Joined to my left is Fred Landis. First half in the books, but let's get you caught up to speed on how we got to this 20 to 12 point in the ball game. Oak Grove back in the first quarter. It was Cheeto Bay Awuzie with a six yard rushing touchdown gave the Eagles a 7-0 advantage later on in the first quarter. It was Will Osi, a spectacular eight-yard receiving touchdown. PAT no good, put the score at 13-0 in favor of Oak Grove. We go to the second quarter where it was a 26-yard receiving touchdown from LaVon Washington of McClymans. PAT no good, put the score at 13-6. And then later on in the second quarter, Oak Grove struck with Will Osi, an 11-yard touchdown reception. The PAT was good, that made it 20-6. Six, and then literally, folks, in the final seconds of the second quarter, it was LaVon Washington with an updated statistic for you, an 80-yard touchdown return on the kickoff. PAT, or the two-point try, I should say, was no good, and that put the score at 20-12. to 12. LaVon Washington, he had two scores in that first half, Red, one on offense, one on special teams. The kids, the kids flash. The kid can move. He can jump. He's really sparked this McClyman's Warriors team, and right now they're hanging in there, only trailing by eight. Yeah, he sure has. He's one of their newcomers uh, this year, Sean. So there's uh, not a lot the coaches had to uh, knew to scout on him other than their previous games this year, and he's carried them with his two touchdowns. But let's not forget about the play of Keith Williams at quarterback. He's managed to find the seams on defense, made some nice throws here tonight to keep the offense going and keeping that momentum uh, to give them that first touchdown, uh, the non-special teams uh, touchdown. But certainly the speed of Washington here uh, is the difference in keeping uh, McClymans here in the game. Hope the third, along with Kenyatta McGee-Jackson, have been Keith Williams' favorite targets. And, of course, LaVon Washington, the three main wideouts for McClymans in this football game. McClymans with no turnovers in this ball game, but unexpectedly, Oak Grove, they had that big interception thrown by Missa Lafua, Dallas Missa Lafua, along the near sideline in the second quarter. That one was picked off by Hope the third, And then they put in Ray Cruz. Ray Cruz strikes big as he's able to throw a touchdown to his target. That's Will Osi for an 11-yard touchdown reception. Let's talk about that play where all of a sudden Oak Grove decided to take out Mr. Lafua and replace him with Ray Cruz. Yeah, um, not really sure. We don't know what's happened to Miss Lafua. Did he get hurt earlier on those uh, uh, earlier set of down? Uh, coach took him out for some reason. Uh, Cruz certainly making the best of his appearance with that touchdown pass to Willow Sy. And, and let's not forget that interception that Miss Lafua threw. It was a third, a third and long. The next play would have been fourth. Uh, it was a good opportunity. You're going to go long anyway if you're going to punt. Sometimes a long interception is no worse than a punt uh, when it's uh, when you've got that long a field to deal with. So in that case, uh, certainly unexpected, uh, mind you, uh, given that ground game uh, that the Oak Grove has showed here tonight. It's the PlayOnSports.com halftime show here at Oak Grove High School. Oak Grove 20, McClymans of Oakland, California at 12. Just under five minutes left here in the halftime before both teams come out onto the field. Fred, one last question before we take a short break and get ready to start the third quarter. Considering that Oak Grove has faced opponents like St. Francis, like Los Gatos, all of a sudden they're taking on a McClymans team from Oakland. And, you know, it's, it's safe to say they only got 28 guys on their roster. But they, they've come down here. Do you think Oak Grove has taken this a little bit lightly in this first half? Well, I'm not sure it's been so lightly as they've won two marquee games to start their season. Uh, this is, as we know, a big game of emotion. Can you keep that emotion up for three straight games in the beginning of a game against... Uh, what would be a lesser opponent, uh, allegedly with McClymans, I think is probably the bigger issue. Uh, remember that uh, between Bernardo uh, and Awuzi, they each of those gain over 100 yards a game on the ground. And we really haven't seen any long breakaway runs here tonight uh, for uh, Oak Grove on the ground. But with that 
28-man roster in the second half coming? Will uh, McClymonds be uh, wearing down a little bit, and are we going to see some of those big runs and see that Oak Grove offense that we saw beat Los Gatos and St. Francis earlier? I was just going to mention the fatigue factor for McClymonds, considering they only have 28 guys and a majority of them going both ways. It's going to be interesting to see how those 28 guys can step up and take on this Oak Grove powerhouse here at Oak Grove High School. Folks, that's going to do it for the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. When we come back, we'll get ready to kickstart the third quarter live right here at Oak Grove High School. The Eagles 20, the Warriors 12, an eight-point lead for Oak Grove when we come back here on PlayOnSports.com. Give a big round of applause for the varsity.
Third quarter action here at Oak Grove High School about to get underway. The McClymans Warriors trail the Oak Grove Eagles by a score of 20 to 12. Oak Grove will be kicking off to start the third quarter going left to right. Receiving the football will be the Warriors. McClymans out of Oakland, California making the trek down the 880 here to San Jose. McClymans up man from the 10. This is Washington, dangerous, still alive. Tackle finally at the 30-yard line. Coming up and making the tackle was Quentin Ilya. So McClyman's offense will head out onto the field. It was LaVon Washington that sparked the Warriors' sideline with that 80-yard return for a touchdown, the kickoff return for a touchdown as the clock struck zero at the half. Oak Grove just shocked. Many thought this game would be over at the half. Instead, it's an eight-point lead for Oak Grove. McClymans, first offensive series of the third quarter. They have it on their own 31-yard line. Ball carrier takes it towards the left side. A beautiful gain on the ground. This is McGee Jackson for a gain of seven. Yeah, an interesting lineup here beginning the second half uh, showing Coach McCauley's adjustment, Sean. He came out with three wideouts uh, in the first half. Here it almost looked like a bunch uh, lineup and with a nice gain, six yards over the left side. Second down and three to go for McClymans as we start the third quarter. Williams with the handoff to his tailback. That one sniffed out right away. Making the tackle was Daniel Diaz, and Diaz had the tackle on the kickoff, so correction for the tackler on the kickoff play. Diaz made both tackles right there, so it's third down and three upcoming. Well, McClyman's can establish a little bit of run. It's going to open up uh, some of that passing game uh, to both of the Washingtons, Lawn Washington and Shaquan Washington, both newcomers here to this team this year, Sean. And uh, they've been the, the, they're the dangerous speed players here for McClyman's tonight. Third down and three. McClyman's going right to left on your screen in the all-white uniforms, black helmets, orange lettering, and that should be a first down as McGee Jackson appeared to get just past the 40-yard line. Enough for McClyman's to move the chains down to the 41. It'll be first and 10 for the Warriors offense. Coach McCauley showing a lot of confidence in his offensive line to move the ball on the ground with three, four yards to go uh, on third down and needing to convert. Uh, nicely timed play over the left side, which they seem to be exploiting uh, all four uh, plays here, all three plays, Sean, over the left side thus far. Williams lines up with two tight ends, two backs behind him. Power formation, ball carrier tackled in the backfield. Great play by the defense as Danny Cox had nowhere to go. Yeah, that time uh, Oak Grove uh, cheated up. And Sabalas there make, making the tackle, coming off the edge. Uh, smelling the run here and smelling... McClyman's tendency here to maybe start a little ground game, rest their defense a bit here this half, uh, Sean, with that limited roster they have. Cesar Sabalos, a senior at 185 pounds, making the tackle right there in the backfield for a loss of four. Shotgun formation, Williams switches the back from his right to left, left pocket, steps up now, decides to carry it, stiff arms, gets the first down, past the 50, still alive as he falls at the 40-yard line. What a play there. What a play by Keith Williams. Shaking some defenders, utilizing the stiff arm. He even spun a little right there, Fred, and picked up the first down. I don't know if it was his dance class at school that taught him that one, but we see a lot of balance out there from Keith Williams. And I had suspected earlier that Coach would send him on a couple of those running plays as he's got great speed in the perimeter, runs very well along with a nice passing arm. Very dangerous to defend if you're Oak Grove. And we saw it right here as he got the first down. Quarterback Keith Williams coming back into the huddle, getting the play call from his head coach. Taking their time are the Warriors, and now they get to the line of scrimmage rather quickly. Utilizing that play clock, really chewing it down. 
Ball carrier takes it to the far side and it appears that was Danny Cox once again. And Cox goes down for a loss of two. Oak Grove's defensive line sniffing that play out. Brings up second and 12. Yeah, that play was a little bit slow in, for, in forming and uh, the defensive back had a chance to uh, get up, get into the backfield and make the tackle here before he could get around the edge. Warriors offense going right to left as they cross over into Oak Grove territory on the Warrior, I beg your pardon, on the Eagle 43. Williams directly under center, I formation, fakes the handoff, slings it towards the near side, receiver catches it, slips one tackler, and picks up the first down. Emil Hope the third, down to the 31. And it actually looks like that's going to be just shy of the first down marker. It's going to be interesting where they, they actually pin this thing. And we're talking third and inches. Yeah, but really helped make that play that time. We saw the left uh, tackle, uh, Dijon Ford, pull up over in the right side and prevented the strong side rush, which would have been Williams' weak side, in essence, as he's thrown to his left side, Sean, completed for a nice pass. Third and inches, high formation once again. Left hash mark on the Oak Grove 32. Warriors with the handoff. That's McGee Jackson tackled in the backfield. Bernardo in the backfield. Accompanying him was the other defender, Daniel Diaz, for a loss of maybe one. Brings up fourth down and maybe two. Oh, this power game, McClyman seems to want to gravitate to this half, uh, has had some success. It's, and here they've got fourth and inches. Uh, what do you do? You obviously have to go for it if you're McClyman's. Where well, they've been moving the ball, uh, they've certainly got a good opportunity. Trips formation to the right side for quarterback Keith Williams, who's lined up in the shotgun. McGee Jackson to his right. Pump fake under pressure now. Williams gets past two defenders, and now he's sacked. At the last second, he slips at least two players. Then Derek Ames, the captain, the big man, comes up at 6'5", 262, and makes the sack. Yeah, that time uh, they were all over him in the backfield. They, they pinned their ears back when you're out in the gun. Uh, Ames, as a, he's a very big man showing some real speed getting in the backfield. Williams, we see his agility slipping out of a few tackles, uh, unfortunately turning the ball over here for McClyman's, but the defense stepping up for Oak Grove in that passing game. That was actually a fumble right there as uh, Williams could not hold on to the football. Oak Grove, wow. Oak Grove yeah. with the football. So great job by the captain, Ames, knocking that ball loose. Eagles with the football now going left to right. Handoff straight ahead. Ball carrier takes it down for a gain of maybe 10 or 11. A great rush by Bernardo, a player that we expected to get a bulk of the calls here. And earlier on in that first half, it was Daniel Lozano getting quite a few carries, but right there, Bernardo going for a gain of 11. Yeah, I think uh, Coach really wants to wants them to dominate the line of the scrimmage here uh, this half. Uh, Jay Braun probably exhorting his line uh, to uh, dominate in the trenches, get that running game going, and try to demoralize uh, the McClyman's defense. Oak Grove first and 10 now from the Warrior 46, handoff. Bernardo once again takes it off the right tackle, picks up close to three yards on the ground for the Eagles, second down upcoming. That was a nice, nice grab there by uh, Jason Brooks on the, on the tackle as you really begin to see a surge in that offensive line. Uh, on, in, the, in the first half, we, we really saw that left side of that offensive line uh, showing some strength here for Oak Grove. Uh, they're, they're big left and right, uh, certainly intimidating for any defense. Cheeto Bayawuzi, the tailback now. Bunch formation with two wide receivers close to the line of scrimmage along the right side of the offensive formation. Awuzi follows his blockers, takes it down to the 35-yard line. Awuzi picking up about six, very close to the first down. Seven, Looks Awuzie. like he uh, got it there, Sean. They're going to move the chains as Cheeto Bay Awuzi crosses the 35-yard line. They're going to pin it on the right hash mark just outside the 35. Fresh set of downs for Oak Grove, first and 10. Oak Grove leads this football game 20-12, to 12, four minutes and 54 seconds, marching away here in the third quarter. 
Eagles have the football on the Warrior 35-yard line. Right hash mark. Dallas Missa Lafua, the original quarterback, back under the center. Bernardo slipping all sorts of tackles, still alive. Inside the 20, tackled at the 15. He broke at least two tackles along the inside of that defense, brought it back towards the inside, and had at least 16, maybe 17 yards on the ground right there. We see the strength of Nick Bernardo. We've seen him make some physical plays on defense tonight, and we see him, the strength running the ball to that outside. He saw the pursuit cut inside, brought some defenders with him, and that's the kind of ground game that we saw out of Oak Grove against uh, St. Francis and Los Gatos the last few weeks, Sean. Bernardo, a captain, senior. 195 pounds. In the backfield, eye formation once again. Two tight ends down on the line of scrimmage. Bernardo runs right into the back of his offensive lineman. And picks up about five, maybe six. And I say ran right into the back of his offensive lineman. It, it makes me laugh a little bit because he's still able to pick up five yards from the initial hit. I would say he got quite the bounce, Sean. Uh, and his forward momentum uh, still gave him a nice ca uh, carry. And I think this is what uh, uh, Coach Braun wanted to do here at halftime is reestablish that ground game that they did earlier in the first quarter. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Oak Grove 20, McClyman's 12. Quentin Ilya in the backfield. Handoff goes opposite side for a gain of one. It's going to bring up third down for Oak Grove as they now have it inside the 10-yard line. Three. three minutes and five seconds left here in the third quarter. Missa Lafua right there keeping the ball himself, faked the handoff, went towards the far side. The ball will be marked down in between the hashes for the Oak Grove Eagles offense, moving left to right on your screen, wearing the blue jerseys, yellow helmets, yellow pants. Two tight ends once again. Wide receivers lined up towards the left side. Missa Lafua pitches it, far side. A woozy, looking for the corner, inside the pylon, touchdown, Oak Grove Eagles. Some great blocking over the left side there, Sean. Uh, by that big offensive line. And you see Awuzi, once he gets into open field running room, he can usually outrun his defender like he did uh, with a safety into the corner of the end zone for the score. Took just seven plays for the Oak Grove Eagles. 56 yard drive, capped off with a nine yard rushing touchdown by Cheeto Bay Awuzi. PAT pending. It's up and good. So Oak Grove able to tack up seven more points in this ball game. They now have a 27 to 12 lead with two minutes and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. You're tuning in to playonsports.com, your destination for high school sports. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Two minutes, 35 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 12. Ensuing kickoff, bounces, up man, bobbles it at the 11 yard line and finally steps out of bound. That was Emil Hope the third, the wide receiver, the senior kick returner, having a hard time right there and finally just takes it out of bounds at his own 11. Impressive drive right there, Fred, by the Oak Grove Eagles going 56 yards, seven plays, and it was capped off with a nine-yard rushing touchdown by Cheeto Bay Owuzi. We're getting a chance to see Owuzi's um, versatility now being used as wide receiver, being used as tailback, and it's no wonder why so many Bay Area colleges, inclu including Stanford, including San Jose State, are currently looking at this young man. Yeah, he's a talent, uh, open field runner, great hands, uh, great instincts on the field, Sean. 
from their own 11. The Warriors offense back out on the field, going right to left. Handoff. McGee Jackson. Slips a couple tacklers right there down to the 21-yard line, a gain of 10. That time he got outside of the contain man, uh, number 70 uh, for, the, uh, for the Eagles was a man that was really supposed to steer him inside, and McGee Jackson's speed, we're seeing him to speed on offense. Uh, he got outside of Angel Moreno there, who's a big 6'3-inch, 255-pound defensive end uh, for a nice gain by McGee Jackson. So... We're really seeing some physical running here by McClymonds this half. Williams checks down some last second advice to his wide receivers. Now he drops back three steps, throws far side. That pass is barely caught by the outside wide receiver who breaks away down to the 36 yard line, gets enough for the first down. And he had to pick that ball up off the ground. That was Jalen Thompson. Another reception for Thompson right there. And it almost appeared, Fred, that ball hit the ground, but he scooped it up, brought it inside, and picked up the first down. It did, and I think maybe the defender for a moment thought it was down yeah. because he didn't seem to react right away. But Thompson was all, all over moving forward, busted a few tackles, and got the first down quite easily. Thompson at the bottom of your screen. Sterling Lowe, the wide receiver on the top side. Man in motion, first 10 for McClymonds. Handoff, McGee Jackson tackled at the 40-yard line. Coming up making the tip was Cesar Sabalos. That'll go down for a gain of maybe four. So we really see this Oak Grove defense now respecting the speed on the perimeter for McClymonds uh, with uh, Washington and the last receiver, and that really opens up a little bit more in the middle. Those safeties have to cheat over a bit. And uh, players like McGee Smith can get a nice five-yard run uh, on, uh, on offense and really mix their pass and run nicely. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Second down and five for the Warriors. Twins formation over towards the right side for Williams. He looks near side, has a man wide open. And it's incomplete. Drop pass down the near sideline. LaVon Washington nearly had six. And that was one uh, LaVon will be rolling over in his sleep tonight, Sean. He knew he had six. Uh, he just probably took his eye off just for a moment. Didn't see the ball. Ball went to the ground. Uh, LaVon just had to stop and say, oh, why, oh, why did I not keep my eye on that ball? And that was a sure six here for the Warriors. Nico Randolph and Anthony McBride are the defensive backs for the Eagles that were the closest to that play. I'm not going to tell you which one got burnt because it happened so fast, but they've got to make sure that doesn't happen again. Timeout on the field. field. McClymonds burns their first timeout of the second half. They have two remaining. Oak Grove has all three timeouts left here in the second half. 27 to 12 is our score in favor of Oak Grove. 38 seconds left in the third quarter. You're tuning in to PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school sports action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Third down and five for the McClymonds Warriors out of Oakland, California, making the trek down here to Oak Grove High School in San Jose. 38 seconds left in the third quarter. Oak Grove 27, McClymonds 12. McClymonds going right to left. They have the ball in between. The Quarterback Keith Williams looking over towards his right side. He has two wide outs to his right, one to his left, two backs behind him. Third down. Fake handoff. Pass play. Caught at the 45 and stood up around the 47. That's going to be a first down. Antonio Cummings with the reception. He needed about five picks up seven. Yeah, Cummings had a nice reception coming out of the backfield for that one. Uh, again, they have to respect the speed on the perimeter with Washington. 
Oak Grove does not want to get burned like they almost did on that previous play. That really set up the underneath pattern to get the first down. LaVon Washington, the wide receiver at the bottom of your screen, and he is being covered by Anthony McBride. McBride playing about 12 yards off. Handoff goes right side, and this is Danny Cox. Cox tied up in the backfield. Danny Cox, it appears that whenever he touches the ball, because he is a smaller ball carrier, he has not gotten positive yardage at all in the second half. Tied up in the backfield every time. Yeah, this, uh, it really appears like you need, uh, between the tackles on this Oak Grove team, a physical runner like McGee Smith has done here this evening, uh, getting uh, outside the contained man, running inside and out. That's how you have to run against this team or rely on your perimeter speed at receiver as uh, Washington has done uh, here tonight for McClymans. Uh, but uh, Coach uh, McCauley willing to mix things up, knows he's got weapons on run and the pass, that he can mix things up just enough, Sean, to make it difficult for Oak Grove to know what might be coming. Three quarters in the books. We've got one left to play here at Oak Grove High School now as they put 12 minutes up on the game clock. We've reached the fourth quarter. McClymans with the football will switch sides now. Warriors going left to right on your screen. All white uniforms, black helmets, orange lettering. On defense are the Oak Grove Eagles going right to left with the yellow helmets, yellow pants, and blue jerseys. It'll be second down and 11 for McClymans. They have the football on their own 46-yard line in between the hashes. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Quarterback Keith Williams directly under center. Passes quickly to the near side. Pat, passes bobbled. That was Emil Hope, the third, who tried to bring it in. And Fred, I think that was a case. As that pass was dropped, it's going to bring up third down. I believe that was a case of Hope, the third, actually, looking ahead before he, he actually caught the ball to bring it into his body. Yeah, he sure did. He saw some daylight. A nice call uh, by McClymans. There was eight in the box there uh, by Oak Grove. He could see he had one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. The defender was, was coming down on him. If he had caught the ball, uh, could have done some damage. Eighth play of this offensive drive here for McClymans. They need to convert. It's third down and 11. Williams looks deep downfield, nobody home. He was looking for his intended target, Jalen Thompson, well covered along the near sideline, providing the coverage was Cheeto Bayawuzi. It's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, it looked like that time Thompson uh, uh, thought uh, he, he was just running a first down in route, and Williams uh, was going deep like a go route down the sideline, and uh, Williams pass certainly was there if it was the go route by the receiver but they looks like they miscommunicated Quintanilla and Awuzi back deep to return the punt fourth down and 11 this one is a very short punt end over end it'll take a two hop at the 30 and now McClymans will down it around the 28 yard line so on will come the Oak Grove offense. They have a 27 to 12 lead here in the fourth quarter, 11 minutes and 39 seconds left in this ball game. McClymans making their way into this matchup out of Oakland, California with an overall record of one and two. Oak Grove undefeated on the year, two and zero, about to make it three and zero if they can hold on to this lead. Yeah, this is a point of the game where the McClyman's defenders were start, will start to go for the ball to get the turnover, Sean. Very important for Oak Grove now to take care of the football. Oak Grove from their own 28. Missa Lafua hands it off. Flag on the play. This is Bernardo as he dives ahead past the 30-yard line, eludes a couple defenders, but there is a flag on the play. And I think the uh, tackler that time, number four, I believe Washington, not quite sure, was in the backfield. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the tailback on the block may have held him. That's LeVon Washington. Correct. And he's actually lined up deep in that defensive secondary, almost like a free safety, but he played up towards the line of scrimmage. So certainly McClyman's smelling that Oak Grove is going to choose to keep this 
on the ground, keep the ball away from them. Uh, chew up the quarter here with their great ground game. And as you can see, they've got eight, perhaps nine in the box. Handoff goes straight ahead. Ball carrier tackled around the 23. It was first and 20 following the penalty. It's going to bring up second down now for Oak Grove. Second down and about 14 following the rush. We're in the fourth quarter, 11 minutes and nine seconds to go here in the fourth. Oak Grove leads McClyman's 27 to 12. Oak Grove, always a school that is well known throughout the entire Bay Area when you talk about some football powerhouses. Oak Grove is always one of those names that pops up each and every year. Awuzie gets the pitch, goes far side, follows his blocker. And he's drugged down very close to the out of bounds marker around the 43 yard line, or I should say the far side line. Awuzie following the wide receiver on the far side right there for a very nice gain on the ground. It brings up third and two. Now we see the speed of Awuzie to be able to get on the outside, maybe starting to exploit some of this fatigue factor that might be creeping in on McClyman's at this point uh, as they've gone inside quite a bit and then they go outside with Awuzie. Fullback handoff. Straight ahead, Missa Lafua back in under center. Ray Cruz. On the sideline, we saw him take some snaps uh, in that second quarter. He's down on the sideline around the 35-yard line, right next to the coaching staff. Did a good job when he came in, though. Really did. He sure did. Rushing play is just shy of the first down marker. No, they're actually no. going to say uh, they're actually going to say that the ball was just across the first down marker as the fullback dive goes for. Enough to move the chains. First and 10 for Oak Grove. They have the ball now on their own 38. So we're seeing Oak Grove giving it to their seniors, uh, their experienced players. Nick Bernardo on the inside to get the first down. Mr. Inside and Awuzi, Mr. Outside. Awuzi slips one tackler, tries to jump over the other, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Yeah, you see now why this kid is is uh, one of those touted players that everyone's kind of looking at in the Bay Area. He's so elusive. He, he almost wants to jump over every guy that tries to bring him down. Yeah, he's got uh, great agility, great instincts, knows when and how to spin out of a tackle, Sean, uh, for those extra yards. And we saw that right there. Uh, almost uh, Superman-like uh, agility and athleticism. Second down and six for the Eagles offense going right to left. They have it on their own 42-yard line, right hash mark. Missa Lafua directly under center, takes the snap, hands it off to the fullback. Tackled at the 44-yard line, so this is going to bring up third down, a gain of close to two for Oak Grove. Anytime you get that kind of yardage on a fullback dive to uh, Sabalos there, Sean, uh, you can really, really helps you take time off that clock. I think we'll begin to see, uh, as we see a timeout, looks like an official's timeout, uh, we're going to begin to see Oko try to stretch that defense side to side, stay in bounds, but with that running game with uh, players like Nick Bernardo inside and Awuzi on the outside. Our referee tonight, Donald Hicks, looking over at the McClyman sideline. Indicating to roll the clock. It's currently stopped at the moment at 8 minutes, 16 seconds. And now he blows his whistle once more. There appears to be a, uh, an injured player, perhaps on the McClyman sideline, or perhaps there was an equipment adjustment taking place on the defensive side for the Warriors' defense. As the athletic trainer hustles back across for the McClyman's Warriors, back over on the far sideline. Clock rolls now, eight minutes, 10 seconds left to play in the fourth. Hand off, left side. Ball carrier goes right back to the line of scrimmage. And coming up and making that tackle was Sterling Lowe, a great tackle at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, a nice tackle, shot the gap. They know they're gonna be running that ball uh, and it's important to play gap defense here if you're McClyman's and not allow uh, Oak Grove to uh, to be able to run inside like that and take uh, time off the clock. And they've forced him into a fourth down punting situation here, Sean. That's a real accomplishment by this McClyman's defense. And you just know with 28 players, 
and seven minutes left in the game, they got to be getting a little gassed. Sterling Lowe, the man that just had the tackle, is now lined up to return the punt. He stands at his own 19. High snap, recovered by Michael Montez, who boots it away. And Sterling Lowe won't even touch this one as it takes an Oak Grove Eagle bounce down to the 13-yard line. A great punt right there by Michael Montez. Will pin McClymonds down inside their own 15-yard line. They're going to get their offense back out onto the field. Seven minutes and nine seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Eagles 27, Warriors 12. Now this is where McClymonds will have to I think uh, you'll see uh, Coach McCauley uh, try to go upstairs on a few plays, Sean, spread that defense out, and then begin to maybe make some more of his runs with McGee Jackson, which he's been very successful with here tonight, uh, trying to keep that defense off balance so they can get a score and make this close in the fourth quarter. Defensive backs playing about 10 yards off of the Warriors receivers. Warriors with the football going left to right now. Hand off McGee Jackson in between the hashes down just past the 20 yard line at the 21 for a gain of six. So you see with that formation and that handoff to McGee Jackson, uh, Coach Braun says we're not gonna give up a big play. And uh, he knew he dodged a bullet uh, with the dropped uh, pass here earlier in this half by uh, McClymonds. He's not gonna be able to let, doesn't wanna let those receivers get beyond the defenders. Correction on the call, Danny Cox with the previous carry. Second down and three. Six minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the fourth. Jocka in formation. This is Williams. Plenty of time, fires near sideline. Pass is caught by Sterling Lowe at the 30, but he took a knee, and that's an automatic down dead ball as soon as you catch that ball and take a knee at the high school level. Sterling Lowe with the reception, good enough for a first down, so McClymonds will move the chains. They now have it on their own 31-yard line, right hash mark. Whistles blow and officials timeout down on the field, indicated by our referee, Donald Hicks. First and 10 for McClymonds. Shotgun formation, two wide outs to each side for quarterback Keith Williams. Looking deep downfield, has a man, caught! Caught at the 44 yard line. Back shoulder throw executed beautifully down the far sideline. And coming up with the reception yet again is Jalen Thompson, back corner throw executed beautifully. Yeah, that's one of those plays up top I thought we'd see out of Coach McCauley here in this fourth quarter, Sean. He's able to stretch that defense for the run and the pass. Warriors cross over into Oak Grove territory now. On the Eagle 45, handoff. This is McGee Jackson, a nice spin move, crossing the 40 down around the 39 yard line. Close to six yards on the ground. McClymonds, a little extra hitch in their giddy up at this point in the ball game. They trail 27 to 12, five minutes and 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They know it's a two score game, Sean, and they are going to have to get, go up top, get Oak Grove to go and score rather. Uh, get up Grove to go three and out and get that ball back. Second down and five from the gun. Williams will go once again. McGee Jackson to his right hip pocket. Four total wide receivers. Williams flushed out near side. Tucks the ball. Will run it. Crosses the 40. Slips one tackler. Tackled now at the 30. Coming up and making the hit was Quinton Elia. And you see a smart play by... Quinton Elliott turned Williams inside to keep that clock going, although it's a first down. First down, great run right there for Keith Williams. Senior quarterback, elusive folks. He can definitely move around in the pocket. He'll be looked at quite a bit here, especially as McClymonds gets ready to enter league play in the Oakland section. First and 10. Warriors with the football on the Oak Grove 31. Right hash mark moving left to right. Four wide receivers all go out in patterns. Williams looking for the far corner of the end zone. One-on-one -on -one battle. No flag as the wideout was bumped off his route. Intended target 
was Jalen Thompson. He was bumped off his route along the far sideline. I thought a flag was gonna be thrown because he was bumped just inside the five yard line. No foul on the play. It's gonna bring up second down. Yes, yeah, certainly from our vantage point, uh, it looked as though it was indeed bumped off and as he uh, tried to really make a flag, run a flag pattern. And uh, the defender, uh, again, playing the receiver, not the ball. It's a dangerous uh, situation if you're Oak Grove to uh, get a penalty in that situation. I think they avoided one there. You were looking, if you're a McClymans fan, for an illegal touching or perhaps pass interference call on that play. But instead, no foul. It's second down. Williams looks left, slings it. Pass is caught at the 25. Ball carrier tackled immediately. And coming up and making the tackle was Anthony McBride. McBride being picked on here this evening. He was uh, thrown on a couple times early on in that, in that first half. He was beat for at least one touchdown in this ball game. Comes up and makes a great tackle right there. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, that time, uh, Williams choosing to go underneath as uh, the uh, safeties had dropped back uh, into some deep zone coverage there for Oak Grove. Uh, but they did get some nice yardage uh, with a clock ticking away here. They're going to have to uh, to get a quick store in order to get some time to get the ball back. Derek Ames, the captain on that defensive line, checks back in. He is the left defensive end. Third down, shotgun formation once again. Williams completes the pass inside the 20. Receiver falls forward. It looked like that was LeVon Washington picking up the first down across the far side of the field. The clock is stopped. <laughs> Briefly, at three minutes and 40 seconds, fresh chains here for McClymans. Keith Williams, not the tallest quarterback we've ever seen, Fred, but he, he scans the field. He really does a nice job going through all of his progressions, not afraid to hit his favorite target right there, Washington. Yeah, you really have to admire the way he's orchestrated his drive from what was basically deep in his own territory after the punt. First and 10, ninth play of this offensive drive. Williams, pump fake, throws, one-on-one -on -one matchup, incomplete. Incomplete, that was Jalen Thompson in the far corner, or the near corner of the end zone, being covered by Branton Quintanilla. Second down and 10. So he certainly made the right play, throwing into single coverage, uh, allowing Thompson to extend his large frame over the much shorter Quintanilla. Unfortunately, just a little bit too high uh, over his outstretched arms. Second down and 10 for McClymans. They have the ball on the Oak Grove Eagle 15 going left to right. Two wide receivers to each side for quarterback Keith Williams on the left hash mark. Williams fires for the end zone, caught at the five, down around the three. That's going to be a first down for McClymans coming up with another reception. LaVon Washington, he has two scores in this ball game. Picks up the first down right there for the Warriors. It'll be first and goal now inside the five. Three minutes and 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Whistles blow. And we have a timeout called by McClymans. That's their second timeout here in the second half. They have one remaining. Oak Grove has all three timeouts left here in the second half. Three yeah. minutes and 12 seconds left to play. Coach McCauley wants to talk this one over. He's uh, He's got the Eagles down, pinned deep. Uh, down on the, uh, the Eagle four yard line, been moving the ball nicely, wants to make sure they run the effective play, doesn't result in any turnovers uh, that are of the risk of the type that uh, could set them back, Sean. And uh, with that clock rolling down, they now have to be very efficient and score. And you figure too, if, if McClymans gets into the end zone right here, they'll more than likely do it because they have the ball at the four yard line, it'll be a quick score. Just over three minutes left on the clock. They'll have one timeout left. If they can execute the two point conversion and get eight points right here, it would be a 27 to 20 game. It's a one touchdown game if they can convert right yeah, here. Yes, so that's what I said. said earlier. It's a two score game in essence with a two point extra points could really make it uh, a nail biter. First and goal. Williams lines up in the shotgun once again. Sends a man in motion. That's Sterling low. Keeps it himself, Williams hit at the one, falls forward. No call down on the field. He's gonna be down just outside the goal line. And I mean just outside. It's gonna be second and goal, one inch out. I like the call, Sean, uh, as they've been having to watch his pass all night and he just ran one. Williams back to the line of scrimmage quickly for a quarterback sneak. And it looks like 
the flag will go against McClymans. Illegal procedure perhaps, or false start, one of the two. Would have appeared to be a false start uh, from what I saw. Uh, Williams was hoping there for a quick snap and uh, died right in the end zone. Uh, but uh, not all of his own linemen were ready for that one. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't set or they were moving ahead of him. Second down and goal. There's another flag, and I would, it would appear to be an illegal substitution uh, on Oak Grove. And Oak Grove actually burns a timeout before the flag was thrown. So Oak Grove burns a timeout. They have two left. Warriors with one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. We'll stay live with you folks. Fred Landis to my left. I'm Sean Hennessy broadcasting to you live from Oak Grove High School. It's the McClymans Warriors taking on the Oak Grove Eagles. Two minutes and 51 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. So do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Nico Valladolid, he's the nose tackle for Oak Grove. Big man, number 76. It's his job right here really to <laughs> penetrate that line and stop that push because McClymans is one inch out from scoring. Second and goal. Williams directly under center, one back behind him. He'll take it himself, falls forward, just off the left guard and scores. Touchdown, Keith Williams. McClymans gets six, and there's 2.48 left to play in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was the play that uh, Williams wanted the first time uh, when they got the uh, uh, legal formation or the... Uh, the, uh, the false start uh, penalty, but then they've sort of got those yards back on the Oak Grove penalty, and this time uh, Williams just wisely punched it in. Uh, and this two-point uh, conversion here, Sean, is huge. Pivotal point in this game right here. If they can convert, it would be a one-touchdown game. Williams lines up, sends his man in motion right to left. That's Thompson. Williams keeps it, throws it for the end zone, caught! Two-point conversion's good. Executed as Jermaine McCann. Kalua catches it in the near corner. It's 27 to 20. Oak Grove, McClyman's fighting their way back in the fourth. Yeah, uh, Williams almost took it on his own, and he threatened to do that, and these defenders have to, have to respect his run, Sean, because he certainly had an opening, and the minute uh, they collapsed on that opening, why that freed the receiver in the quarter of the end zone to catch the pass. And it was a beautifully thrown, just a little pitch high pass over the defender, caught beautifully for the two point conversion. Jermaine McCann Kalua, his first catch in this ball game, couldn't have come at a better time in the near corner, diving out with his two hands, catching the ball, grasping it into his chest, converts the two point try. And it's now a seven point game. McClymans has one timeout left in this ball game as they line up to kick off. Two minutes and 48 seconds left to play. And I think it's a safe statement that uh, the Eagles will have their good hands people up front, Sean, expecting the onside kick. That drive unofficially goes for 12 plays, 88 yards down the field for McClymans, capping it off with a one yard rushing score from quarterback Keith Williams. Two point dry is converted successfully, passing from Keith Williams to Jermaine McCann Kalua. That puts the score at 27 20. Williams lines up, onside kick, balls in the air, caught at the 50. Oak Grove recovered. Osai jumping and up about 10 feet in the who air. Who else would you want but your six foot three inch receiver who's already grabbed a few touchdowns here tonight, Sean, uh, to put his big uh, good hands up top. Got the right roll, got the right bounce off the kick and uh, leaves uh, Oak Grove here in good position with 246 and uh, they need to convert on a few first downs, keep that ball on the ground, keep that running game uh, with the Woodsy and Bernardo intact, uh, and they can finish this uh, this game out with a W. But you know McClellan is going to be going for the turnovers and reaching for the ball. 
McClymans in that 4-3 defensive look. Oak Grove with the football. Their offense out on the field going right to left. Handoff. Awuzie tackled in the backfield. For a second it looked like that ball may have popped loose as the fans, the fans get excited across the far side of the field. Awuzie goes for a one-yard loss. McClymans, the big mo, has shifted over to the folks from Oakland. And you could see there, that was a play they successfully ran for a touchdown in the first quarter, Sean, just at the, down the left side uh, uh, earlier. Uh, McClymans knew they're going to get it into their good hands, people. Awuzi, Bernardo, they're sure-handed uh, seniors, and uh, they certainly smell that about. And, and they went, uh, they were not just tackling uh, Awuzi, they were tackling the ball. They want the ball, Sean, and uh, that's really good coaching by Coach McCauley. Uh, here at this point in the game. And McClymans burns their last timeout. They have no timeouts left in this ball game. So now it's a, it's really McClymans versus the clock at this point. If you're Oak Grove, that offensive line is the key to winning this football game. They have a seven point lead. They're more than likely gonna keep that ball on the ground. They need to pick up this first down and keep the clock going. 2.39 left to play in the fourth. Missa Lafoa. Quarterback under center, hands it off, no gain. Back to the line of scrimmage. D-line shuts him down. It's going to bring up third down and 10. McClymans here can't stop the clock, uh, but they sure stopped the ground game that time. Uh, I think you could expect almost simple straight-ahead running plays, low-risk plays, Sean, that don't risk a turnover. And I'm sure Coach Braun exhorting his offensive line here to take control of this game here in the last two minutes. Clock continues to roll now. Approximately two minutes left to play. Whistles blow. Here comes a flag. flag on the play. It's going to go against Oak Grove, it appears. The ball is at dead midfield at the 50. And I believe it was an illegal substitution, uh, Sean. Yeah, they had 12 men on the field. That's a five yard penalty. Makes it third down and 15. Even worse, it stopped the clock. Yes, that's the one thing they didn't want to happen. At 159, it's third and 15. Cruz in at quarterback. From the shotgun, five wide receivers go out, flushed out near sideline, throws it, caught at the 41, tackled out of bounds. The question is, are they going to give it to him in terms of the yardage at the 40? Two receivers down along the near side. Will Osi with the reception. Good enough for a first down. Biggest play of the ball game right there. Absolutely. He brought in Cruz, uh, who's sort of more of a solid passer. And uh, Osi, who's already caught two touchdowns here tonight, was the right man to go to. It does, unfortunately, stop the clock going out of bounds. Not something they wanted to do, but they did want to convert on fourth down. Uh, or third down there and keep possession of the ball. And folks, we'd like to remind you to please stay tuned for our PlayOnSports.com post-game show coming up following this football game. And we will also select our PlayOnSports.com player of the game. That's all coming up following tonight's broadcast right here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. First and 10 for Oak Grove. McClyman's all out of timeouts. Oak Grove with the ball on the Warrior 39. Whistles blow before the ball carrier. Bernardo takes it straight ahead. Flag on the play. And it's a false start call against Oak Grove. This will push him back five yards. First and 15. Yeah, they wanted to run uh, their Mr. Inside, uh, Nick Bernardo on the inside uh, on, that, on that play. A little bit of an anxiousness uh, on that offensive line to get after the defense. Uh, Coach Braun, no, no doubt, uh, uh, wanting them to take over this game. And that's what's made them successful so far this year, uh, Sean. I formation, I should say two tight ends down, single back here. Bernardo jumps over the defensive line, picks up about two yards. Clock rolls at one minute and 40 seconds. Left here in the fourth, whistles blow. 
and uh, McClymans. There are no timeouts left by McClymans. It appears uh, Burns a timeout, and I'm a little shocked because I have marked down all three timeouts, and maybe you just heard the PA announcer mention to the fans that McClymans is all out of timeouts, but apparently the officials know something that we don't know, and it looks like now McClymans has burned their last timeout. Well, I guess definitely and, uh, for sure we, it's McClymans against the clock, Sean. We've marked down all three, and that's why I'm uh, I'm signaling to my PA announcer here at Oak Grove High School. He, he said the same thing. McClymans is all out of timeout, so uh, <laughs> interesting call down on the field as our head referee, Donald Hicks, indicates to the press box that McClymans burns a timeout. That would have to be their last timeout in this football game. I think that's a safe statement at this point. Uh, certainly giving his uh, his defense a, a bit of a rest and uh, Coach McCullough going out in the field telling his 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 players go remember go for that football score doesn't really matter at this point if, unless you can get possession. Miss Lafua hands the ball off. Bernardo goes right off the right guard. Picks up about four yards on the ground as he's tackled around the 37-yard line. One minute and 28 seconds left to play. And Bernardo is certainly their Mr. Sh most assured-handed uh, uh, running back uh, going in the middle of the line, as uh, Coach Braun would think. And at this point... Uh, it's all about keeping the ball, and with third and long, with a minute left, and watching that clock tick away, uh, why it just may take one more conversion uh, for them to take a knee to end the game. Third down and eight. Awuzi gets the carry. Goes far side. Hurdles a player, crosses the 30, still on his feet. Tackled around the 26-yard line. Awuzi. He's probably tried to hurdle at least three or four guys in this football game, and he does so successfully right there. <laughs> and I think the key to that play, Sean, was Nick Bernardo with a kick-out block on the inside. He was lined up in the slot, just turned to his left, and as uh, Woozy ran to his right, he kicked, out the, kicked off the blocker who could have drug him down from behind at the line of scrimmage. So credit Nick Bernardo with, with, a, uh, with a good block, as you'd expect, uh, out of the senior captain. First down for Oak Grove following Awuzie's rush. There is a flag down on the field now at this point. Uh, looks like we have a penalty against McClymans. Delay a game penalty as our PA announcer gives the correct call. At this point, uh, Oak Grove tapping each other on the helmet with 44 seconds left to play. A couple kneel downs should do it. McClyman's all out of timeouts. We, we think they're all out of timeouts at this point. Yeah, at this point, uh, they just want to protect the ball, avoid any injuries, uh, 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 certainly. Uh, and protect that lead, uh, take it into the clubhouse. Uh, again, McClymans will certainly be going for the ball, and uh, at this point, uh, he'll trust uh, Nick Bernardo, as he's been doing. You see a woozy in the backfield that should the ball get away, he's fast enough to track anyone down. As Missa Lafua just takes a knee, one as the clock continues to go. The clock was actually rolling a little bit. 18 seconds, both teams heading back to their respective sidelines. And that'll do it here from Oak Grove High School. A much closer game than expected, but the Oak Grove Eagles capture the W. 27 to 20, the final score here from San Jose, California. Give all the credit in the world to McClymans making their way out of Oakland. Only 28 guys going up against as many would say, a, a much superior football team of Oak Grove, but they hung in there, only lost this football game by a touchdown. Yeah, I'd say uh, Coach McCauley had an outstanding game plan, uh, knew he had some balance on offense, uh, Sean, and uh, it really gave uh, Oak Grove all they could handle. Well, folks, that's going to do it for the football game here, but stick around. Fred and myself are going to select our PlayOnSports.com player of the game. We're going to have a live interview with that player, and then we will bring you our PlayOnSports.com postgame show. That's all coming up following the game right here on PlayOnSports.com. Final score, Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. We'll be right back in just a few moments.
We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Alright, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard uh, graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard. Sean Hennessy back here with you folks from Oak Grove High School. We've wrapped up action here as the Oak Grove Eagles defeat the McClymans Warriors by a final score of 27 to 20. Fred Landis heading down onto the field as I speak to grab our playonsports.com player of the game, Will Osi. He had two big touchdowns in this football game. He had actually two receiving scores in this matchup. The first one, an incredible eight yard uh, reception in the back of the end zone, and then he also had another receiving score in the second quarter. So congratulations to Will Osi, our playonsports.com player of the game. Folks, when I come back, I, Sean Hennessy, will have a live interview with Will Osi coming up in just a few moments right here on playonsports.com, your destination for high school sports. Stay tuned. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard uh, graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP.
Welcome back, folks, to PlayOnSports.com. Sean Hennessy here with you, standing next to our PlayOnSports.com player of the game, Will Osai, the star wide receiver for the Oak Grove Eagles, as the Eagles knock off McClymans by a final score of 27 to 20. Will, great game here tonight. You guys face a school out of Oakland. They take the big trek down on the 880 South. How much did you guys know about McClymans coming into this matchup? Uh, we didn't really know a lot. We knew about um, their uh, last two teams that uh, went like 26 and or 12 and some. And they had a pretty good team. And they were league champs over there. And we were league champs over here. So uh, we got a little film on them. I think last week on the game, and uh, we Coach Brown did a good job of uh, telling us their like flaws on defense and offense. So you know, we just came out and practiced and worked hard and got the W. Two receiving touchdowns tonight, my friend. Uh, a great offensive performance. What did you see in the defensive secondary that allowed you to break loose? Um, we knew we, they played tight on us, and they were uh, jumping out on fly sweeps a lot because of our Chitabe Wuzino and our Dan Lozano. So we just wanted to um, fake them and then just get me going downfield, and hopefully uh, I, I came open and I was. Will Osai, our PlayOnSports.com player of the game. Once again, final score, Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. 3-0 now. Sure feels good. You guys knock off St. Francis. Yeah. You knock off Los Gatos. What about Oak Grove makes you guys so tough? Because it seems like each and every year, Oak Grove is not afraid to take on the biggest, the baddest, and you guys knock them down every year. Uh, you know, we just want to keep the tradition alive. You know, um, Oak Grove has been good in previous years, and they've been winning CCS. and We didn't win a league, but, you know, we want to take it a step further this year. We want to really be known for something for the school, so we, we look in to uh, get a ring this year. So we're just going to keep working hard, take it one game at a time, and uh, see what happens. Defense held strong there towards the end of the ball game. You guys put a lot of pressure on quarterback Keith Williams. What was the defensive game plan in this particular matchup? Uh, well, we wanted to get pressure on the quarterback a lot, but, um, you know, that wasn't happening, so we just started to sit back in coverage and uh, uh, get cover sacks, really, and that's what happened. Derek Ames made a great play, and... We're just going to keep working. Will Osai, congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Heck of a football game. Will Osai, our PlayOnSports.com player of the game. Final score, Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. Folks, stick around. We'll be right back with our post-game show, and we'll wrap things up right here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP.
Welcome back, folks, to the PlayOnSports.com post-game show. Fred Landis joined alongside me once again. I'm Sean Hennessy. Final score, Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. Will Osai, our player of the game, came up here for a few moments, Fred. He had such a phenomenal night. Two receiving touchdowns really sparked that Oak Grove offense. Yeah, and uh, they, they needed that spark. They've been running, relying on their ground game, doing a great job with uh, Bernardo and, and Osu all the year. Uh, they're at least their first three games and really provided the balance I think they needed against a McClyman's opponent that gave them more trouble than I think any of us expected. They really did. You talk to a lot of the media here in, you know, San Jose, the uh, the south portion of the San Francisco Bay Area, and they'll tell you, you know, Oak Grove was a heavy favorite in this matchup. But when you look at the final score, it was a touchdown that separated these two schools. Oak Grove really started out with the ground and pound. They wanted to chew up a lot of clock, but then their defense kind of led up towards the middle quarters, the second and third quarter. Surprised to see McClyman's kind of hang in there throughout the ball game? Well, somewhat, considering uh, their limited number of players, and I... They were listed at 28 on the roster. There's actually 24, Sean, as wow. I understood, inside uh, with uh, injuries. Uh, so considering most of them going both ways all night long, uh, they play with a lot of heart, and you have to be impressed with Keith Williams and LaVon Washington and Shaquan Sh uh, Washington as well on the outside, and some great running uh, by the McClyman's uh, running backs. Uh, really to keep them in this game and really make this a lot more interesting. You're tuning in to the PlayOnSports.com postgame show. Final score, Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. McClyman's falls to 1-3 and three now on the season. Oak Grove advances to a perfect 3-0. They've knocked off St. Francis. They've knocked off Los Gatos. They take care of a school out of Oakland. How good is this Oak Grove football team? I think it's a team that's going to contend down to the wire, certainly in their division, in this division. They were undefeated last year. They certainly have the talent and the skill, and they've been toughened by these early non-conference games, Sean, uh, to run the table in their conference. They just have to focus and, and execute and avoid some of the breakdowns, some of which we saw here tonight, which will occur uh, inevitably. And some of the better teams, the bigger teams uh, that are competitive with them, they're the difference often in games. Oak Grove escapes with a victory, 27 to 20, our final score. I'd like to thank my videographer, Nico Chastain, my producer, Kevin Smith, and my analyst, Fred Landis, one of the best in the business. I'm Sean Hennessy. We'll see you next week right here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Oak Grove 27, McClyman's 20. Take care. Bye-bye. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort.